baking so we're just gonna let it you know marinate there uh, as much as possible you want to drop everything in your sterile field again IV is what aseptic correct so I'm gonna show you guys hold on one second how do you open the 4x4 four four to make sure to maintain the sterility can you guys see it watch me first we're gonna open all the way through do we touch anything on the inside no, no. we're just gonna go ahead and drop it in like this Ta-da! so it should not flap so you should supposed to what open it all the way up do not touch anything in the inside you do not put any of your packaging you do not grab it on the side and then here we go ladies so you're gonna just gently just drop it in okay you do not put the packaging in here the only time you're gonna open it is you're gonna put it in like that right there Ta-da! you grab your saline and you take this out from the packaging correct so how do you get rid of bubbles you keep the syringe vertical and you aspirate all the way down and what do you do Flick the bubbles, and then what do you do? Make sure all the bubbles are what? Up in front so you can what? Plunge it out, okay? Remember, don't touch the tip, okay? Because then you break sterility. Then you lower lock it. Now, if your cap is too freaking tight, like the one they gave us, you kind of just loosen it, but you don't take it off, okay? It should look like this, no bubbles in the syringe. So for tape, we don't want to what? Put, do not put it on your gloves. You know, put it on your lovely clothes. So that, I know we understand it's easier to access that way, right? So as much as possible, if you want to prepare tape, so grab about, make about six of these skinny trips. As you guys can see here, nothing touches except the what the base tape okay so i did the tigerderm already what's the next step okay chevron the u i the sticky side up correct i crisscross it for chevron and then i'm gonna frame it around so that's the kiss all right and then make sure the u is nice and wide right here nice and wide it's not a sharp u I usually put one more. Ta-da! Oopsie! <laughs> and then it's time for the label. What do we put on the label, ladies? The time and the initials. Ta-da! See? And then we are done. We're going to prepare the blood by pushing a little bit in. Watch me, ladies. And then aspirating a little bit out on the other side. You should have in. You should have a little bit coming out there. You see that? There. There. Step one: tourniquet and wipe clean. So I would prefer to do tourniquet here. Ta-da! Do we stick it in there wet or do we stick it in there when it's air dry? Do we go like this? No. No, right? Do we blow on it? No. When we take this out, we break the seal. Step three, traction. What is traction, ladies? It's the pressure you exert with your thumb because that's the strongest. To keep the skin tight and it's be towards you can i see your traction please can i show you and it cannot go in it can you cannot touch the needle with your thumb this way okay so i don't want to see this right i don't want to see this i don't the, the traction should be out of the way okay so now i'm comfortable with my needle i have traction that's step three step four really target the vein right you guys spend time looking for the vein feeling it right 
So you should be able to target the vein. So step four is target. Step five, poke on top of the vein, inserting only 25% of the needle. One slide. Step six, you need to stop. If you don't have um, uh, flashback, just push this, okay? You guys see that? Do you leave the traction? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Keep the traction there. You cannot move the needle without it. Okay, what's next? Lower it down, thank you. And then? Yeah, 20-ish, you know, 25. It doesn't go over 50 total, correct? First is 20, you add another 20. 20, 25. Method A, what is method A? One hand. So I do not leave the traction. I hold on to the clear. The clear does not move forward. Does the clear move forward or backward? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. It stays there. Only the blue moves forward. It doesn't move backward. It only moves forward. How do you move it forward? With your finger. With one hand right here with the index finger. If you're having problems, then you can use what? Two fingers, correct? One hand. Ta-da, and I should see the steel neck. You guys see that? What's next, ladies? So method B is when you're having trouble with method A, correct? So you're like, oh, I can't really do method A. So what do you do? Watch me, ladies. What do you do if you're having trouble with method A or you yeah. just like, let go traction. Use the nail of your thumb, gloved. Hold on to the clear, because the clear does not go anywhere. It doesn't go forward, it doesn't go backward. What's next? Nail of your thumb, and then what do you do? Push the hub. There should be a ridge in the hub. There should be a lovely ridge in the hub where you're gonna put, hold on to the clear and then put, just gently tread it off. That means slide it off, right? And it should look like this, okay? It should have a lovely needle neck. Do you see that? Before we remove the needle, what's the, what's the thing that we need to do? Two things. Pressure and what? And? Tourniquet. So we did our A and our B. Now we're ready to remove the needle. That's the only time you remove the needles, correct? Mm -hmm. And you grab this. Ta-da! Do we wait for it? No. What's next? Mm -hmm. And connect it what? Right away, correct? Ta-da! And what do we do after we connect it? Like go pressure. Hold what do we do? Hold the hub. Yeah. Right? Hold the hub and what do we what do we turn? The clear, the clear, clear. Only the clear because it's gonna be a problem if you guys turn the hub. Okay, so you only turn the clear. Ta da, okay. And of course, what do we do next? Ta da 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 da. Gently. Do we push it in or do we aspirate? We want to aspirate to make sure we have what? Lovely blood. That means we're still in the vein, correct? <coughs> do we push it in now or do what do we else do we need to do? We'll remove the syringe and make it vertical. And then, then we can flush it, correct? We can flush it right there, okay? And that's how you connect the saline lock okay it should look like this and nothing should be out all of the cannula should be all in there 100 percent 